Okay. I have an issue with my trash can, which is that The cats keep knocking it over. So, in order to stop that, I've got a bungee cord that I intend to strap to the wall around the trash can so that the cats can't knock the trash can over. So I'm just gonna have to make a I'm just gonna have to make a um, little thing here a little device to hook the bungee cord to that I can nail to the wall. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna need three three hexagons. The outer one that has the holes in it for the the outer one that attaches to the wall. Right, that'll be the back plate. This middle one, which is going to hold the hook of the bungee cord, or keep the bungee cord hook from, you know, slipping off of it. And then this innermost one, which will be a peg. So I need to make this, the, I need to make this hexagon the size of the of the bungee cord which I don't know I want to see something um There's a thing I can do that I would like to figure out how I can do it. Whatever, never mind. Anyways, I forgot to measure the bungee cord, so let me go get it and measure it. <laughs> Okay, now I can measure the bungee cord. It has an inner diameter of 22.63 millimeters. So as long as I make this smaller than that, so like 18, That'll work. It has an outer diameter of 30 millimeters. So I'll make that like 34. And then
Okay, and then this. Why doesn't this? There. This can be kind of anything for now. And then I've got a line here because I intend to print this such that the little peg here that's going to hold the... Can I change this to a construction line? From Nope. I have to be in the sketch to do that. Anyways, because I intend to print this with the uh, peg at the bottom. On, on the bottom of this peg is going to contact the build plate. Okay. I'm going to make this... Okay, the thickness of the hook here is about four, so I'll make it six. That's gonna be uh, four, like it being chunky. And then another four, but start it here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and go back in this sketch and change the uh, size of this one to be more like 40. The reason that I'm going to do that is because I want to put, I don't, I want it to be very intentional when I take the, I'm going to have to be able to take the bungee cord off of these things, right, so that I can take the trash can out from behind the bungee cord and change the bag and stuff like that. Um, so making that bigger will make it intentional. But I also don't like, because if it's printed in this orientation here, then the layer lines are going to go like this. And it can, and pulling on it with the bungee cord can put stresses in on the layer lines in this direction. So to reinforce it, I'm gonna go ahead and put a line here, here, and here. Make this one collinear, and make it. Parallel, and now I can do, I can make this whatever I want it to be. I'll make it four, and then I put another line up here. That's a construction line. I'll mirror it. Then I'll go ahead and extrude this. Start at an object, which is here. Extend to object, which is here. Cannot complete extrusion. All right, and then start at an object here. Why can't I do that? Okay, what if I make the start object here, and I extend it to here? Oh, because it's not okay. Now let me try that.
Okay. And then select the other one. Okay, don't select the other one. That's odd. Whatever. There. Up. Uh, okay, so now this will be, this should have enough space in it that I should be able to slide the, uh, or rotate the, uh, the, um, hook through it. I think. Anyways, um, now I'm going to make a plane at an angle here. And I'm going to put my nail holes on that, on this plane that's at an angle. I will put it here because that will be above that'll be above the uh, yeah that should be above where the layer lines start where where this where this stops up uh, I'll put it here. And this will be a construction. Actually, all of this will be construction, except for this. Now, if I extrude these, Okay, and the reason I put them at an angle, that is a really sharp angle. The reason I put them at an angle is when I when, when the uh, hook is pulling on it, it's gonna be pulling kind of in this direction, right? And so putting the, and so putting the uh, when the hook is pulling on it, it'll be pulling in this direction. So by putting the nails in this direction, it's going to hopefully make keep it from from coming out of the wall so easily. I'm going to go ahead and delete everything though because I don't like the angle that that's at. I'm going to instead put a plane at an angle here of 45 degrees. And yeah, that's probably going to be better. See, that's going to be straight up though. So I'm going to. Put this line here and here and two and two 
gonna go ahead and cut them through and that's better so now I'm gonna go ahead and make a mid plane between this plane and no a mid plane between this plane and this plane because that that's gonna have the least the reason I chose these planes is because that's gonna have the least changes to this I might want to make like make this thicker so now I'm going to go ahead and mirror the features of this across this. All right. In fact, I, I, I know already that I kind of want to do that because so what is this at now? Sixty two. Sixty five. That's pretty good. OK. All right. I'm going to rename this to bungee hook for trash can. I'm going to save it as a mesh. How many? 876, most of which are going to be due to those holes. Um, I'm, I forgot one little thing. I'm going to fillet these because they'll get damaged by the uh, how's that look? They'll get damaged by the uh, bungee cord if I don't. Okay, that that's good. Okay. Now I can save it. Now it's got more. It's got 996 triangles. Up, put it in miscellaneous, just as its own thing. All right, now I'm gonna print this out and hopefully it should work. All right, here's the bungee cord. Here's the uh, little hook thing. Now I'm going to see if it goes in. I'm going to hold it against the table so to, to simulate this being nailed into the wall. And it's pretty difficult, but it can go in, so I think that's pretty good. It's easier to do this, so I might actually do that instead. I might hold this in and just put it here. And then I can just... Yeah, this is, this is actually easier, so I'm going to actually use this so uh, this works well enough so I'm just gonna print the other one get it nailed in and hopefully that'll keep the cats from being able to pull the trash can down so that they can't get into the darn garbage 
and eat garbage and make themselves sick. So the nail holes are pretty small nail holes because I'm going to be using fairly small nails, but yeah. So yeah, I'm going to nail this down and hopefully it'll work. I'll print the other one too. I got these nailed to the wall there. I've got the bungee cord wrapped around the trash can. Yeah, nothing's gonna happen to this thing. So yeah, it works.